But I think I got that shit fixed now. Drunk cooking with Scott. All right, we've been gone for a minute. Today, I'm gonna show you something real simple. We're just gonna, we're getting back in the swing of things. When you go out to eat, if you like crab legs, you go out to your chain seafood restaurant, anywhere else, crab legs are gonna run you about 22 to $30 a pound or so. You go to a fancier place, steakhouse, something else, they're gonna take you from 30 on up to $75 a plate, real easy for like a pound or a pound and a half. Fuck all that shit. I'm telling you right now, you can make that at home. A lot of people don't do it at home. Why? Because they're scared. Why? It's easy to make. If you can boil water, you can make crab legs. We're doing that today. Let me show you what these bad boys look. Two pounds, 20 bucks at my local grocery store. Look at that. 20 bucks. We're gonna get, we're gonna get them started. Let's go. Okay, so I got what you do is you bring a pot of water, a big pot of water to a boil. Do that. I've already added a bunch of salt to the water. Okay, so imagine what it would look like if I put a bunch more in there. We did that. Now, get the crab legs. When you're at the store and you're looking at crab legs, you find them on sale. You find them under, under 11, 12 bucks. If they're under that, under 10 especially, grab them. These were $9.99. Make sure you get a nice color on them. They start getting dark like that. Don't, don't just pass them up. Just skip them. I took these because they fell in with the batch, but you find a nice color like this on them, that's what you're looking for. And the thicker the centerpiece is, that's where the meat is. You're talking a pound of crab legs, you're not talking a pound of meat, you're talking a pound of shell. You're talking a few ounces of meat. We're gonna go ahead and take them, we throw them all in the pot, right? Let's get these buddies, bad boys cooking. They don't take that long. To give you a, give five, seven minutes in the pot when they're bright red take them out check one it's good you're good to go let these bad boys cook we'll be right back all right so today I gotta say before we get to any further behind the camera I have chef pickles my boy Asher Anders staying with us again today aka chef pickles he hates it but I throw that at him just to mess with him a little bit um, what's his nickname come over here pickles show them the crab legs they're just about done so when you know that they're getting there it's been five six seven minutes you go get you a, a little ram, I got a ramekin, get whatever you need, a little dish, put a lot of butter in there, real butter. Don't get no margarine, bullshit, I, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't, I can believe it's not. Put real butter in this shit. Go in the microwave, bam, I'm gonna hit it with 30 seconds. We're getting congealed butter here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these things off. Crab legs coming over. We're gonna strain the water out. Try not to burn yourself. I'm drunk, so anything can happen. It's like a, I'm getting a nice little facial over here. I'm getting the, the skin's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be so nice and smooth and cr crabby. Okay. Once that's done, get that water out of here. It's time to plate these bad boys. Melted butter. Those are the ugly ones. We'll put those on bottom. Put the nice pretty ones on top. That's what the restaurant will do to you. The bullshit you like that. There you go. Now, I have my uh, crab zipper, which is important. You can pick one of those up at your local chain restaurants. I have, I don't have the crab cracker, but I have a, uh, a walnut cracker. They'll do the same. You pick these up for a couple bucks at the store. And the next thing I'm gonna show you folks how to do is how to eat these things. You wouldn't be surprised how many people just decimate them, miss out on all the money meat. We're doing that now. So here we are, we got our crab legs, and it didn't cost us $50. First of all, what you're gonna do is you get one of these center pieces like this, you twist it and bring it up, always twist it away. This is gonna have a tendon going down. So what I do is I bend it back very gently, and then I pull back and get that tendon to come out. See there, there it is. That doesn't destroy your meat. Then you go in the very center, put your thumbs there, and bring your fingers out. Push very gently. Now, if you've cooked it properly, your crab meat's just like it so. And that's how you don't waste crab meat. You throw that in a little butter. Mmm, fire. The only time you need any of this shit at all is when 
you take it off one of these little bad boys, in which case, you take this one, you pull it back, anything with a tendon, snap it out. Now this is a little tougher, so I take my walnut cracker, my nut cracker over here, and I peel this away. I'm, trust me, I'm doing it, it doesn't look like I'm doing it gently, but I am. And as you're learning, you have to start out with more care, but as you get better at it, you get the feel of it, you'll be able to do it too. But now what happens is, I'm left with a little meat nugget. I like to call it meat nuggets. And uh, just get that right out of there. And that, that's, 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 that's the sweet spot right there. Melted butter. I forgot the napkins, don't do that. This was your intro to crab legs with Drunk Cooking with Scott, man. We're back. I'm gonna see you again soon, cheers.